in the land of grills folks yeah that's right we're doing a one year anniversary in fact a little over one year of owning the Rectech bullseye deluxe this thing is uh it's been pretty awesome for the last year i actually have two of these and uh we have one down at the southern command land of grills and that's what we're going to do to review on today i'm going to tell you what i like what works what doesn't work what should be improved on are you ready for this Rectech? well let's get started one year review let's get started a lot of traffic here tonight uh i'm going to leave a link down below to the to the review original review we did to this i'm also going to leave the link to a couple of mods that i have done to this that will turn this thing if you're thinking about getting one of these which will up the capacity by quadruple uh and make you able to do a lot of things on this grill that you didn't think you could do and in fact keep on watching because we're going to celebrate by making a pizza on this on this yeah on a pellet grill and uh one of the things that you're going to say tom what originally got you thinking about buying this and it was a thousand degrees here's a pellet grill that they said can do a thousand degrees there's no other pellet grill still to this day a year after that can do a thousand degrees unless it's got a grease fire going on um but that's not intentional <laughs> so this thing does thousand degrees i've proven it i've shown it uh high heat on this thing is phenomenal my hat's off to rec tech for making the first pellet grill that can do low and slow and truly hot and fast let's keep on going here all right a year later here's what the price still is it's 800 bucks remember you can get the other uh the original rec tech bullseye for 400 so you know half the price for the regular but uh this one's got so many more things and i probably would not have gotten this one but when this one came out i was thousand degrees the wi-fi there's so many cool things going on here let's keep on going all right so accessories is another another thing that is great about this because it, it's a 22 inch so anything that sits on a, on a weber kettle is going to sit on here and you can see you know I, I actually took an accessory made by only fire for the weber kettle that uh kind of turns it into a smoky mountain and put that on here and uh boy i'll tell you what <laughs> it works very very nice i'll leave those links down below uh let's talk about a few other things all right so what Rectech did with the card putting that shelf on the bottom like it but what i really like is this th this folding stainless steel shelf right here folks it, it's uh every grill should have a front shelf uh, now a whole bunch of other things going on here. This lid is removable. Like I said, when we talked about doing, taking off and uh, using, you know, like I said, you can put a Weber hood on here too. It just comes right off right there. Uh, down below, that is where your ash goes. And we're gonna show you when we get on the inside that it actually has, has an ash dump right here that dumps the ash out, which that's phenomenal and then the wi-fi will do we'll talk about that separately all right let's talk about one of the things that i wish they would improve you're, you're making something that gets a thousand degrees why didn't you give us a cast iron grate rec tech uh i mean that is it's, it's nice that you gave us this one i believe it's stainless steel but a cast iron one now that would be nice now what they did do instead of having the old stamp steel diverter they made this out of cast iron and that has been holding up just fun just fine in fact i've done a cast iron seared uh, steak on there and it was mighty delicious all right uh you can see they almost had to uh, i've always said this thing is turbocharged so your fire part is down low and uh cleaning out the ash would have been a difficult thing anyway so what they did and just keep on watching look at that they put an ash dump in there and this has had zero issues with it and um i never known how much i would i like that feature until i had it here's another cool thing temp gauge right here if you noticed before i took out the the, the, grill, the grill grate it's right at grill grate level so you're getting the exact temp of where you are and of course this is pid so this is one of the few grills that i have that has a wi-fi that really truly works and uh it hooked up right away and you know you just turn it on like this and you can hear it right there the grill is preheating to full i'm going to be setting it at uh, 600 which it is and uh, it, it just it works and it's so easy to use remember folks i'm an old man so if i can make it work you can make it work and of, like i said of all the grills i've owned this one's got the easiest to use wi-fi in fact i hardly ever ever use the controller i do everything right here on the app well done by by Rectech. All right, just got fire. 
they put a different type of igniter in here folks that ignites super quick uh, this was less than five minutes and I already got fire and uh, another great innovation by uh, Rectech here they, they just did it right when it came to this grill all right we got a 16 inch stone on there and uh, I promised you pizza pizza is what we're gonna make uh, while we're getting this heated heated up let's talk about some of the things that I wish they would improve on all right we're, we're just coming up the temp here he said I, I did set it down to 500 I did pizza last night on this and 600 was the the crust wasn't burnt, but it was definitely crispy, uh, more crispier than I would have preferred it. So we're gonna try 500 today. And then I think once I put the pizza on, I'll turn it up to 600 to get some wraparound going on there. A whole lot of things that are going on here, folks. You know, the stainless steel bowl for down here in Florida, this is absolutely perfect. The way it's vented is uh, is perfect. Uh, I what, what do I wish they would do better? I'd like to see bigger wheels on the bottom. Uh, but that's not a game changer for me. Uh, cast iron grates, even if it was an option, uh, cast iron grates on this, I think would be a, a good thing for Rectech to have. Uh, some of those accessories, like you saw the Tom Horseman extender on there, I was doing that trying to goat them into actually offering something like that. And I know when it comes to Rectech, they want to sell grills. So if you're looking for more square inches, they want to sell you a bigger grill, not the Rectech bullseye deluxe, but you know, of all the things, those are really, you know, the things that I can think of that I would do differently. The app, the app is absolutely perfect. So I'll tell you, <laughs> tell you what, instead of me talking here, let's uh, go roll out some dough and uh, put a pizza on. All right, folks, so <laughs> set at 500. Now the PID, now PID stands for Proportional Integral Derivative, and it's a program, and it's, it's unique to each device. And on this device, what the folks from Rectech did was they dialed it in correctly. So uh, I'll tell you what, it's, I got to set it at 500, 499 is what it is. Plus or minus five is all is awesome. And this grill is doing a great job of doing that. And let's go make a pizza. All right, there's our homemade pizza. Folks, uh, store-bought dough, but I rolled it out and I've uh, got just some cheese and pepperoni on there on the rectangle. Like I said, folks, <laughs> this thing makes awesome, awesome pizzas. Look at that. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Oh, I'm thinking that is almost ready. Yeah, the peel right there. Give you a look-see. See if you can see that. Oh yeah, that's hot. That is ready to go. Folks, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. Tom Horseman at YouTube. Check out all the Rectech stuff that I've done. Especially the Rectech Bullseye Deluxe. This thing's awesome. Take care, folks.